I was really excited to see this. It sounds like a really great opportunity. So I had heard about this when it was called the ABC Discovers Talent Showcase because I worked with an actress in the past, a long time ago in San Francisco, that was a part of this, that she was selected as one of the actors and I have never spoken to her about it, but I just remember seeing it on social media and her saying like, hey, I'm a part of this. And now it's called something even a little bit longer, Disney Television Discovers Talent Showcase. So the first step is just to submit on Actors Access or email if you really want to do that. Which brings me to a point that I wanna make. If you were my friend, like let's just say you're my friend Jasmine, and you were like, I'm gonna be submitting to the showcase, should I email it or should I put it on Actors Access? just put it on Actors Access because I, I don't know why they put both options. Maybe they were just making sure they're inclusive or in case you have an issue in Actors Access, you can still do it. Actors Access to create an account, it's free. And I believe the two first headshots are free. I have a video of when I did my Actors Access account, like 2019 or something. I'm going to be making an Actors Access account because I need more castings. You do have to pay if you want to submit to certain things, like open calls like this are basically like sponsored. You don't have to pay to submit to them. And then if you want to upload reels, like footage of you acting, then that's when it's, um, I believe $22 per minute. Let me tell you, if you submit through email, they're, they're gonna get your headshot and resume, right? If you submit through Actors Access, they're also going to get your headshot and resume but they can easily click on your profile and go look at your acting reels, go look at more of your headshots. If you're an actor in LA or New York, which is what this is open to, anybody 18 or older in LA or New York that has acting experience, if you are all of those things, you should already have an Actors Access account that's updated and full of wonderful things that you have been doing. Add that to your to-do your to -do list this weekend to create an Actors Access account and put a bunch of great stuff on there. But um, that would be the first step. And then it says that they're going to do um, self-tape auditions for um, the next steps and they're likely if COVID allows, going to do in person, I'd imagine. Um, but it says it starts in May of 2022. Uh, that actress that I know that did this, when she posted that she was part of the ABC um, showcase, I remember there were a bunch of photos. So I do know it's like a decent amount of people, um, not like hundreds, but I remember maybe around like six or 10. Um, so a decent amount of people get selected for this and then you do that showcase. So you would perform and that's going to be tentatively November or December of 2022. So it would be at the end of this year. But just based off of the description, it would be um, a, a virtual showcase. So it's going to be broadcast for the talent agents and managers and all of the people in the industry. Um, but hopefully they're doing like scenes and monologues to really show, you know, your, your work. So it's that. And then you get mentored for a whole year by an exec in the Disney television team and that family. And you get offered free classes and free showcases. That, that's all in the um, Instagram post that I saw. Cause I almost never go on Instagram, but I decided, Oh, let me just go check, you know, Instagram really quick. And I saw that and I'm like, this is why I need to be checking Instagram more because there's a lot of open call opportunities or audition opportunities in general that I have found through Instagram. You, if you are also an actor that lives either in New York or LA and you have acting experience and an actor's access account, then, um, it's gonna take you like 30 seconds to submit to this. Let me open up the Instagram post so that I can tell you guys more accurate information. So it does open up February 28th. That's when it's opening for submissions and then it's closing March 18th. Um, they gave a very specific time, 8.59 p.m. PST, and they very specifically said they will not be um, considering people that submit outside of that time. So if you're an actor, like go do it right now. And then other people that they're not considering are people under the ages of 18, people who are not local to LA and New York. And then one of the frequently asked questions is what if I'm not in the country? They're saying no, only people who live in the country, specifically LA and New York, and you do have to have training for this. Um, so this should be really easy for you if you do have training because you do likely have a headshot and a resume. So all you're going to have to do is go to Actors Access, log into your Actors Access if you're not already logged in, and then submit to this. I've already made a video of me making it for the first time, but let me know if you have other questions and I'd be happy to make a video of, I don't know, a 
maybe a tour of my actor's access profile so you can see what mine is. I'm not saying mine is perfect and amazing, but I mean, I book stuff and I feel like I'm pretty good at the business side of acting. So I'd be happy to share that with you. Essentially, what it sounds like is that you're going to be exposed to a bunch of people in the industry, which is of course great for actors. For this showcase, you do have to have experience, but you don't have to have professional representation. So you don't have to have um, agents already. Um, and if you don't have an agent already and you do end up get, getting selected as one of the actors, you'll probably get some uh, some people that are interested in it. Anyway, I've been talking way too much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I also feature another channel at the end of every video. So this is today's feature. And here's a video on how you can track your auditions because if you're an actor, you know you should be tracking your auditions. So just go see how I did it.